Good fucking God. What a fucking day. Good Lord, will this day ever end. It is now <coughs> 8 o'clock. And I am too far away from my own Margaret. I am so desperate. I was ready for a fucking drink three hours ago. We were getting the the Club Tales Sunny Margarita. The guy at the 7-Eleven uh, assures me they are damn good, he told me. And I did get this off the top shelf. So, uh... You know, uh, if it had about three times the tequila in it, you should have seen me trying to make a damn margarita last night. I was out of my super limeade. I was mixing up lemonade and cherry Sprite to try to make a damn margarita. Good fucking God. And I just ate me a goddamn Arby's roast beef sandwich. Yes, sir. I am so, uh, <laughs> I, I'm so goddamn whipped today, guys. Th this is, th this is certainly the hardest I have worked in the year, uh, 2024. Got behind that damn tiller on, uh, Hambones Island. Oh, Jesus. Did about three days worth of work in one because the fucking rain is moving in and apparently it's going to be here for 10 fucking days. So uh, <laughs> I had one chance to get that damn tilling job done and good God. I am too old for this shit. You know. I'm a 64-year-old white man with a bad back. I will put myself up against any 22-year-old Mexican. Uh, you know, there, there is <clears throat> not that I can find a fucking 22-year-old Mexican or a 64-year-old Mexican in fucking Ithaca, New York, because Greg Abbott and Ron DeSantis won't send me any. Jesus, trying to fuck, find a fucking Mexican in this town. Even the margaritas come from the 7-Eleven out of a fucking can. Uh, th there is no... There is no 64-year-old white man on this planet who uh, did uh, anything close to what I fucking did today. Not on this fucking planet. You know, uh, Jesus, I lost my goddamn mind, but it's fucking done. And then I, uh, I had to uh, after after all that shit, get in this fucking truck, drive all the way to uh, north of Ithaca. This is my second or third trip to Best Buy trying to fix this goddamn computer shit. I, I, I mean, as exhausted as I fucking was, uh, I had to get in this goddamn truck and uh, head out and do that shit. Then I had to go fucking grocery shopping. Then I had to go to Lowe's. So I go to fucking Lowe's. I had ordered these two extension cords, 260 fucking dollars. I had spent on these extension cords, and so uh, they, they took a week to get here. I had to special order these motherfuckers. So they get here, and I needed to look at the plug to see if I had a paddle bit big enough to because I got to put the goddamn cord through these uh, through this two by six lumber. Uh, so thank God I decided to look for the plug. So I, I, I reach in the goddamn box of one of these $130 cords and I pull out the fucking plug and it's some weird fucking plug. 
you know, some goddamn says this this cord must be plugged into a 20 amp whatever. So uh, I told the woman box them up. Send them back, and then of course the cords that I needed instead of two hundred three hundred and sixteen dollars for two fucking cords three hundred and sixteen fucking dollars uh, for two goddamn extension cords, and that's gonna take another week uh, to get my goddamn three hundred and sixteen dollar extension cords. Jesus fucking Christ dealing with all of this goddamn bullshit uh, and so I uh, fucking had it with uh, the, the, this the, this laundry pile from hell you know all my sheets and blankets uh, you know for the the kickoff laundry uh, trip to hell so I call one of these I call one of these places you know where I still had to drive to fucking Ithaca to uh, you know to drop off the goddamn laundry uh, you know I was supposed to drive all the fucking way to Ithaca so I uh, talking to the to this woman and uh, she goes, well, what do you have? And I said, well, I've got these four uh, bed spreads. And I did just these basic, lightweight, piece of shit, polyester-filled, uh, polyester-filled uh, bed spreads. And so I said, I paid $10 a piece for these things. So I said, I've got $40 into these bed spreads, I said, how much would you charge to wash these blankets? And she says, blankets are $35. And, and I said, well, I, I said, I paid $40 for them, and you're telling me you're going to charge me $35 to wash $40 worth of blankets? And she goes, no, that's not what I'm telling you. They're $35 per blanket so she wanted me to bring her four ten dollar blankets that I paid forty dollars for she was going to charge me one hundred and forty fucking dollars to wash four fucking blankets and I, <laughs> I said I said lady uh, I said, do you really think I'm going to pay you $140 fucking dollars to wash $40 worth of blankets when I can just go to fucking Goodwill and, and, and get four more blankets for $40 fucking dollars? And, uh, and, and, and she didn't miss a beat. And, uh, you know, she's... So she's getting all chatty, you know, asking me. We didn't even get to the sheets yet, uh, which would have been another $140 to wash the fucking sheets. And uh, she gets all chatty. So I tell her uh, about my Airbnb. Uh, and she goes, oh, she goes, you run an Airbnb. She goes, she goes we have this service just for people like you where we can come pick up your linens every week and launder them and bring them back to you and, and, and I said lady you just told me you were gonna charge me $140 for four blankets if I bring them to you uh, I said I will not be availing myself of your fine service well if you change your mind uh, we would love to get you on our weekly linen schedule fucking weekly linen schedule my fucking ass so guess what I get to do tomorrow which 
just as good as anything because the, the, the high tomorrow is 51 degrees so the rain has now started this is what I was fucking busting my fucking ass uh, to try to beat on that tilling and, and it can rain for 10 fucking days it can rain for 10 fucking weeks it can rain for 10 fucking months the fuck uh, not, not, not a fucking chance of sunshine and blue sky as far as they can fucking see. So tomorrow, uh, I, I get to sit in the fucking laundromat all day. I, I'm just planning to spend all fucking day uh, sitting there in, in, in the goddamn laundromat. I'm going to start at fucking Goodwill and Habitat for Humanity and uh, see if I can just buy some new $10 fucking blankets because it's going to be probably, my guess, is $6 each to, to wash these four blankets. So you, you can either not, not count the fucking soap and, and, and my fucking time uh, if, if I get out of there spending six fucking dollars to, to wash a ten dollar fucking blanket I'll consider it a successful day so that's my day tomorrow is fucking laundry from hell I'm sure you will receive a rant about that oh Jesus fucking Christ I am saying good fucking God anyway I am heading back to Bugs in a Jar Farm. I think I have an Arby's chicken sandwich still in the bag with my name on it. Don't want to get pulled over by a fucking cop in this speed trap with this goddamn margarita I'm drinking. Catastrophes in your own fucking life before this whole shit show comes crashing down. I wanted so bad. I was looking for fucking doormats on uh, on uh, Amazon and welcome mats, and uh, I guess a real common one is welcome to the shit show. Uh, I absolutely wanted to put fucking welcome to the shit show on all three of my tire now. So, are, are you ready for this? So, I, I, I've, I've got my first wedding night reservation. First time ever where the happy couple wants to, uh, wants to spend their wedding night at uh, Blue Dragon Tiny House at Bugs in a Jar Farm and I'm, I'm doing everything I can to talk this young couple uh, you know like, like guys you're, you're, you're gonna be shitting in a five gallon bucket uh, on, on, on your wedding night and uh, but, uh, I guess their mind is made up uh, anyway Everybody's fucking at Bugs in a Jar Farm except Hambone. Alright, the little dog says, would you get that damn chicken sandwich out of that bag and shut up? Oh my gosh.